flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and it's mid-October so I'm talking bulbs, spring bulbs. So my bulb order was supposed to be here but like many orders so far this fall, there's a delay. So I got an email last week that my bulb order was delayed by at least two weeks. Whew. Fortunately, we are nowhere near freezing here yet. It's actually been an abnormally warm October so far. In fact, most nights are only going down to the mid 50s. I did have my first frost a few weeks ago, but since then, haven't had anywhere near frost. So we're still plugging along and it's actually kind of nice to get all the work done in the warmer temperatures. So while I was expecting to be planting my bulbs this week, instead I'm gonna tell you about them. So I ended up ordering, uh, well, more than double than last year. We had such a great spring with a hugely successful Mother's Day. I know it's just gonna be even better in the spring of 2022 because my markets have tripled. I have several stores that I'm now selling flowers in and I'm excitedly partnering with two local businesses to be a pickup spot for my CSA so I no longer have to make deliveries, which it's amazing. I haven't even announced this yet to my customers so you're hearing it here first. So I have partnered with the local YMCA in the neighboring city to be a pickup spot for my weekly bouquets in that city and I've partnered with a new cafe in my hometown of Boonville to be the pickup spot for my CSA members closer to home. So I'm very excited to actually have a place where people can go and pick up the flowers that it's going to be more convenient, time-saving, and in the long run, more profitable more profitable for me. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I'm just excited about these new partnerships. I really think it's gonna be uh, a great working relationship. So I'm excited about that. But what I really wanna tell you, it's about all of the new bulbs. So that said, I, I planted 2,600 bulbs, I think, uh, last fall for this spring. And because my market avenues have tripled, like I said, I, uh, I ordered more than 6,000 tulips. I promise I'm putting a cooler in. I promise I will have a cooler for the spring. I shouldn't make promises. Is there a spider on my lens? Squirrel. <laughs> totally distracted. I actually put this bulb order in several months ago. Some of this stuff I ordered way back in March and then some I think late April, early May. I think the last of them I put in in June and I'm ordering from two wholesale companies this year ordered. I've ordered from two. One is Leo Burby Company and then the other is Ball Horticulture, so Ball Color Link. So first I'll talk to you guys about my order from Leo Burby because it's smaller. It's 800 bulbs in total. The first I'm going to talk to you about is Copper Image. Copper Image is an absolutely gorgeous tulip that I actually planted last season. So this is one that I'm bringing back because the customers loved it so much. It was a feature in my Mother's Day bouquets and it just had this color that was like orange but brown coffee pink and it kind of um it was kind of like a chameleon whatever you put it with it just matched it was a double tulip that was to die for i actually ordered 500 of these but i actually got a cancellation notice last week that uh it was a couple weeks ago but i got a cancellation notice that um they had a crop failure so i'm only getting the ones from leo burby i'm not getting the ones from the ball suppliers which bummer man bummer i'm upset about that, but at least I still have 200 coming, which is double of what I planted last year. Okay, so let me get my computer over here. Do you guys see my computer skin? Isn't it pretty? I've had it for several months now. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. Anyway, it's like like 20 bucks or something to cover your, your computer in flowers. Okay, so the next one I have on here is Ruby Prince. I've never grown this one. This one's new, and I'm gonna go through, through these rather quickly because I don't have the details of these flowers laid out in front of me. So the other one I have is Dream Touch. And then this one that says Icoon, I-C-O-O-N. Um, maybe that's a typo and it's supposed to be icon. Anyway. So that's a smaller order. That's So let me go over to the ball order. And this order has been changed multiple times with availability. So sometimes they think they're gonna have 
X amount of bulbs and they harvest the crop and it's uh, not that many. So say they offer 10,000 and end up only with 9,000, they have to cancel 1,000. So I've been on the cancellation list for a few things, which is a super bummer, but this is the reality of life. I put this order in uh, late spring as well. So it also includes a few thousand daffodils, I think 2,500 daffodils. Um, you guys want me to go over those too? <laughs> Very quickly. Okay, so we have Daffodil Accent, Daffodil Acropolis, Daffodil Bridal Crown, Daffodil British Gamble, My Story, uh, Trianthalia. I think that's it. So back to the tulips, we have a uh, Black Parrot, Blue Wow, Blushing Beauty, Brownie, I've heard great things about Brownie. Charming Beauty. Okay, so this one's a little bit emotional and it's unexpected. Actually, um, uh, if you follow my page at all for any length of time, I like to plant things that are named after people in my family. And so I came across this tulip uh, in the springtime and it's its name is Claudia, which is the name of one of my cousins. So I ordered it because it's my mom's cousin and uh, her and my mom were uh, rather close. And wow, uh, Claudia passed away a couple months ago and I'm, I forgot that I had ordered this tulip. So whew, that's kind of a little bit emotional. Wow, okay. So then uh, Comet, I have um, exotic, exotic Emperor. Tulip Ghost, Greenland, King's Blood, which is like the deep, beautiful red. Um, I actually have 500 of those coming. So I have La Belle Epoque. That's the one that everyone wants. I managed to get my hands on 300 of them. And it's hugely, hugely in demand because it's just one of those amazingly beautiful, um, very bridal, um, beautiful, beautiful tulips. So I'm excited about that. I have Mamma Mia, which was another one from last year that I had to bring back because it was a stunner and everyone's favorite, very gorgeous. Mango Charm, Pretty Woman, Queen of the Night, bringing her back, she is unbelievable. I, I ordered last year instead of uh, Queen of the Night, I ordered Cafe Noir. Um, it was okay, but it wasn't Queen of the Night. It was much smaller, the actual tulip itself. Um, so and it wasn't as, I, I mean smaller as in like the actual flower was smaller. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to have Queen of the Night back. 400 of them this year, 400 of them. Um, Renown Unique, Salmon Parrot, Uncle Tom, World's Favorite, Yellow Sun. I think that might be it. I had a few others that were canceled because they were unavailable, but that's okay. That's what happens. So that kind of is a bummer. So I believe I added it all up and let me, let me just add it up one more time just to get a total on, not the daffodils, just the tulip total. The tulip total. I love those T words. I just realized that between the cancellations, which I, I had 300 copper image canceled, and then those other ones that I had canceled, it knocked me down 900 bulbs. That's a bummer. So uh, the new total after all of these cancellations is just over 5,000. It's 5,100, which Oh, I might have to put in some last minute orders here with some other people. I don't know. Let me see. Ah! Ah! It's okay. 5,100. We'll see what it does. We'll see, right? So there you have it. Those are the tulips that I'll be putting in the ground eventually. I'm hoping <laughs> the last week of October. Uh, you guys know. I've done videos in the past about how you can plant as long as your ground's not frozen. So, um, in fact, I don't even know if I'd want to plant right now because my soil is still above 55 degrees. <sighs> now I just have to sit and wait and wait and sit. And uh, it won't be long until I'm tiptoeing through the tulips again. <laughs> uh, I think that's my favorite time of the year because it's like I'm 
drowning in flowers, right? I, I have, I'm surrounded by them, but it's just the tip of the iceberg for the season. And I can't believe how fast this season went by. I feel like it's still July, but if I look around, the leaves are coming down and it's mid-October. I mean, it's not even early October. It's fall. So there is my tulip order for spring 2022. I cannot wait for them to bloom. Hopefully the winter will go by as quickly as the summer did. I mean, I'm looking forward to winter, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna get my ski on all every day. As far as a cooler, I'm actually looking into getting a small business loan to build a workshop and a cooler. So that is why I haven't purchased anything used or uh, you know, a big refrigerator from a VFW or the fire hall um, because I, I do have plans and those plans involve having a new one built. So uh, hopefully we'll get it done before the tulips start to crack. Cause once they crack, there's no stopping them. No stopping them. Just unless you have 33 degrees. That's the only thing that's gonna stop them. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Squirrel, spider. What's that? Oh, oh. leaves falling. I'm like, oh. want to catch it. Mm -hmm. Catch it before it hits the ground. You ever play that game? I have. The leaves are falling and making noise. I thought someone was walking in the leaves. I should take video of the leaves. They're so pretty. The watch just went off. Wow. I am distracted. Distraction city. I'm ready now. I'm ready to talk better now. Okay. Why is my smoke alarm going off? <sighs> that drives me nuts. The smoke alarm in Axel's bedroom was going off, but there's nothing there. I'm gonna text Brad about it. 